Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I asked the community, what computer should I get? I told them what I was looking for, and we debated it. We recorded videos on it. We talked about the hardware. We talked about the support. And then we got to the point where we started talking about software. Do I want to run Mac apps or Windows programs? Which one do I want? This is a tough decision. Which one do I want? Do I want Mac apps or Windows programs? Because they're both pretty darn awesome. <clears throat> I got to admit it. Love it. Hey, Sabia. Matthew Sabia, I'm guessing. Just a guess. Great investment on Empire Avenue, by the way. Awesome investment. Hats off to you. You're raising your dividends. Love that. Love it. Keep it up. Mm. Some decision juice here uh, kind of helped me run through the scenario. And the, the, the upside about the uh, Mac is the software is easily available from the App Store, and I can synchronize different computers, so I only have to buy it or get it once, and it's tied to my account, just like iOS and, and uh, the iPhone and the iPad or the iPod Touch. <clears throat> but the benefit of Windows uh, is uh, the fact that there is so much software available. And no, I'm not just you know taking a stab at Windows. There is a lot of great software available. Uh, Microsoft has some pretty good platforms. And really, uh, IE9 is kind of a nice browser. i got to admit, they're doing quite well. Fast. It is fast. Giving Google Chrome a run for its money, even though I am a Google Chrome user. And I like Google Chrome because it runs cross-platform. See, here's the thing. People are intent on putting you into a camp and keeping you there. Ah, oh, you're just all Mac. No, that's not exactly true. Uh, Mac and PC. I live in both Windows and uh, OS X. And so I'm looking for things that bridge the gap, right? And Google Chrome, did, did I say Goo Goo Chrome? <laughs> I think I did. Goo Goo Chrome. I think that's, I'm going to refer to it now from now on as Goo Goo Chrome. I don't think Google will like that, but eh, it's open source, so I can call it whatever I want. Um, actually, I, I don't know if I can. Don't sue me. Don't sue me. Sorry. Did not mean to offend. Uh, either way, I like Google Chrome because I can uh, keep the same extensions across uh, computers and across platforms, and I love that. I love that a lot. So, uh, got to the point of talking about software, Mac or, or, or Windows, really. Um, and then, all right, all right, hang on. Take a step back. Not Mac or Windows. Mac or PC. Windows or OS X. The two should not be mixed because they are intermixable, and that's exactly what I was going to pull up here uh, as I was drinking my decision juice. Oh, Macs do not lead to depression. Give me a break. And BSD FTW. Connolly wrote, as it spans two monitors here, Chris Perillo, how about a MacBook Pro with Windows on it? You see that, guys? You see that? Here, hang on. Maybe this will clear it up for you. Here, try it again. Let me move my juice. There's the tweet. And I realize the quality of this video is not that great, and the reason why is because I'm trying to get a computer that will record better quality video on a webcam, HD quality video on a webcam, so it's easier for me to do. How about a MacBook Pro with Windows on it? That's what it says, even if you can't read it. Trust me. Look. How about a MacBook? You notice how it's intercap there? Pro, intercap is when you throw a capital letter in the middle of the sentence. Although, you know what? I'm not a fan of the whole serif font thing. It's too serif-y. More of a sans serif guy. You know, like this. Like, uh, you know, that's a sans serif. How about a MacBook Pro with Windows on it? And you know what? Right there. See that? See that smiley face? Since I am an MVP for Microsoft Windows, and I love Windows, and I'm looking for a good computer that can make me happy with a high quality webcam that will bridge the gap between Mac and PC, Windows and Mac OS X. Um, I think I'm going to get a MacBook Pro with uh, Windows on it. Not emulation, not virtual machine. You can run it outright. I run boot camp on my iMac all the time. Love it. It's easy. It's great. It's perfect. It doesn't come overloaded with crap that n normal uh, uh, system manufacturers will throw on it. You ever, you ever buy a PC and find that it's loaded with more crap that you have to uninstall and that stores want to charge you extra money to uninstall the crap that you just bought? Why not save your money, dude? At that point, you might as well buy a, a PC that isn't loaded with crap. I love Windows. 
Windows 7 is awesome. Love it. I cannot wait. They're calling it Windows 8 now, right? I cannot wait to start playing with Windows 8. I cannot wait. I think they're taking a step in the right direction and doing their own app store. It's long overdue. Long overdue. Not going to custom make a computer because remember, I'm buying something portable. And you know what? You can build your own notebook computer if you want. I'm not going to, okay? Because duct tape and screws and stuff... Not for me. So uh, let's go ahead and flip that back. Sorry if that blinded you for a second. Uh, I think I'm going to live in both worlds. I think I'm going to order, at this point, a MacBook Pro, 15-inch. We'll configure it here in just a second. Uh, and the thing is, I'm going to install Windows on it. And uh, I am going to use this video as outreach. To all the OEMs out there, if you watch this video, I am looking for a good comparison, a PC comparison, a notebook computer comparison to what I'm about to buy. Find something that fits my parameters with software, service, support, uh, actually take out software, service and support, uh, quality of, of hardware, and uh, stability. Okay, design, that's another one. So I'm, I, this is, the onus is on OEMs, okay, I'm, I'm casting it out to them. Because I need something that's going to run Windows and, and Mac OS X. Because I have Mac software, or OS X software, I should say. And I have Windows software. I have to have, like, both worlds. Uh, yeah, actually, my, Microsoft should be seeing this. Because they know I love Windows. They know I do. Dude, I'm, I covered Windows in the past. Continue to. I think they're going in the right direction. I'm an MVP, for Christ's sake. Hopefully, they're not going to get mad at me for saying that. But mm, some people get, oh, you said that. Oh. I... Trust me, dude. I know exactly what you sound like in real life. Whiny little. <laughs> so, with that, that is a challenge to OEMs. Uh, find me something better. I'll do a review. I will do a side-by-side. -side. I will do an absolute review. Speed tests, if you want. Windows for Windows. I will absolutely do it. Absolutely. No questions asked. But, unfortunately, Apple doesn't send this stuff out for free. Usually OEMs will sometimes give it out for review. And then when I'm done with it, uh, maybe I can pass it along to the community. We can do a giveaway. Just saying, if you know anybody who works at the OEMs that wants to do these kind of side-by-sides with the MacBook Pro, I'd be happy to do it. I know I've been repeating this for years, but no one ever listens to me. I can upload 4,000 videos on YouTube, and that's probably coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and no one would still listen to me. They're just listening to themselves. Isn't that what chat rooms are for? Or Twitter. OEM is short for Original Equipment Manufacturer. <sighs> Thank you, Aloha Aaron. Another great investment on Empire Avenue, by the way. Awesome investment, by the way. Perfect. You're doing great. Keep it up. My favorites, actually. I met them through Empire Avenue. Me and a lot of new friends, actually, that way. Love it. Uh, okay, so... Um, in uh, just a few minutes, I'm going to uh, place my order. 